Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. We'll talk about common mistake people make when replacing fuses, relays that can cost you quite a bit of money, guys, and waste of time as well. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair, guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a BMW 5 Series, guys. Generation E60, 61. This is the 5 Series from year 2003 to year 2010. If you guys need to find where the Bluetooth or also known as hands-free fuses are located, you have two fuses that you may need to check in two different fuse boxes. We'll explain where they're located, where you can guys buy cheap fuses, parts, tools, the good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste your money. And what's important to test fuses and realize all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure you stand till the end so before we start let me tell you a little bit about us guys if you have bmw 60 61 that generation 5 series we'll be making a video about every possible fuse and relay why to save you time and money let's say you're in the middle of nowhere your fuel pump fuse blows out what you need to do okay it takes forever to find where it's located it's so complicated you may have even multiple fuses and all you have to do come to our channel search for it and you'll be able to find that video watch it and in less than two minutes you replace the fuses you're back on the Road. something else guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make guys at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you guys how to fix pretty much anything engines transmissions why we do that because our mission to shop is to save you money guys we have more than 11,000 videos on our channels that can save you quite a bit of money now uh, if you guys need to buy parts to use for your BMW or any car we'll share the link in the description of the video below where you can get them from at a really good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money and if you need to buy cheap fuses relays anything for your BMW links will be shared as well so let's continue now so the Bluetooth hands-free fuses where they're located will demonstrate on a 2008 model BMW 5 series guys fun fact about that car we have up to three different fuse boxes we will work in two of them today the first one that we need is on the passenger side open the glove box on the back side once you empty your glove box because I bet it's full to the point where nothing else can fit but once you empty everything on the back side you have one rectangular piece now it attaches with two turning knobs, one on the left, one on the right side. Turn them about 90 degrees, you remove that rectangular piece out and you're going to see guys a fuse box layout that looks just like this one right here. Now before we guys continue let's explain quickly why it's important to test fuses and relays. So it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well, common mistakes people make. Sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need, uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse. So we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse, it takes only a few seconds to find find out for sure if it's good or bad the same thing for relays guys okay uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays and for some certain fuses guys it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them otherwise you can burn the electronics and uh, for instance working on airbags fuses or anything like that you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery and if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system I'll never recommend to do that guys uh, but when disconnecting the car battery guys okay common mistake people make it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect reconnect first if you do it the wrong way you can burn electronics modules how we know about that we burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on BMW that cost is two thousand dollars guys so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect first check it out for your convenience here guys, which fuse you need to check? That row of fuses is 1 through 9. This here is 10 and up. In that row of fuses that's 10 and up, if you uh, pay attention on the bottom side, on every even number of fuses you have numbers. For instance, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. The fuse that you need to check is fuse number 37 guys, right here. Check that fuse. Now, you can have another one. If you open the trunk on your BMW 5 Series, you need to remove that cover on the side, pull it out, and behind it you have a fuse box. It could be two different ones depending on the year. This is the earlier models before the facelift, guys. And here you will need to check fuse number 89. Okay, right there. And the facelifted version, 
okay fuse number 89 will be that one right here hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time